Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm kind of sporting a different look today, gone for the wet look, um, but that's because I'm going to be sharing with you my latest hair tool, which is quite literally just transform the way that I do my hair. The box behind me kind of gives the game away, but it is the new Dyson Supersonic. Now I attended an event recently with Dyson and they very, very kindly gifted me one of these and I was so excited because I'd read a lot about the Supersonic, I'd heard that it was amazing, so it was kind of nice to just experience it for myself and see what all the hype was about. So in this video I'm going to show you how I style my hair using the Dyson. I'm going to do that first because I don't really want to sit through the whole video with wet hair um, and then I'm going to go through what I like about it, kind of its key features and the intricate details, what I don't like about it and also compare it to your normal drugstore hair dryer. So this one is a fabulous one, it's worth probably about 50 or 60 dollars. The Dyson Supersonic is worth 500 dollars so it is a big big price difference. Um, that's 500 dollars Canadian I imagine in pounds it's probably about 300 or 350 pounds, I'm not entirely sure. So it is a big investment product. So hopefully you'll find this video useful and it'll give you a little bit of an insight into whether or not it's worth the money. Okay, so I'm going to start off with blow drying my hair. So I'm just going to be using a paddle brush and also a round brush. Normally I, I don't like to blow dry it when it's like wringing wet, I'll kind of put it in a towel and then air dry it for a little bit and then dry it through, I find it just, it sits much better. My hair actually looks quite nice and um, wavy right now, I swear it never ever goes like this when I want it to go like this but yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to be using the, what's it called, smoothing nozzles, so it actually comes with three different types of nozzles, so it comes with the diffuser nozzle which is good for like creating nice curls um, and it comes with two slightly smaller nozzles, one is just for like general blow drying and one is for styling. The best thing about these nozzles is that they're magnetic so you basically just clips on and when it's on it's pretty sturdy and then to take it off you just pop it off and that's one of like my pet peeves with normal hair dryers is it'll always come with like those nozzles but then I always end up losing them or they just fly off when I like hit it with the brush and they're never ever secure and it just really annoys me so that's one of the things that I really really like about this is it just pops on and it's just nice and secure and it doesn't fall off. So. I'm going to start off by just brushing my hair through, getting it cut next week, I'm so excited. My ends aren't very nice. <laughs> so we're nice and tangle free. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with an argan oil and just pop a little bit of this through the ends of my hair. Just to give it a little bit of protection and a little bit of shine. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the smoothing nozzle, which is this one, um, just to kind of rough dry my hair with my fingers. And when it's about sort of like 80 or 90% dry, I'll just go in a little bit with a paddle brush and then I'll go in with the round brush and basically smooth it out properly and flick out the ends. Um, and that'll give it quite like a smooth finish. Nothing too like, nothing too quaffed. I don't think I've ever said the word quaff before. Um, nothing too like put together, but just kind of a nice everyday look where you don't need other styling tools. You can just use your hair dryer um, and a couple of brushes. Okay. percent dry right now um, so I'm just going to go in with the round brush to smooth things out and just create a nice little like flick at the ends. Um, so I'm going to be using the more concentrated styling nozzle now just for a little bit more precision um, and I do want to mention just how easy it is styling with the supersonic. Now when you hold it, you're holding it like that and your thumb is basically it's within reach of these buttons here. Um, this is the on and off button so that powers it. This is like a cool blast button and then you've got two buttons up here, one of them is um, for the heat levels and the other one is for the, um, like the, the flow of air. So the design is very very simple but it's just lovely, I really like it. And unlike other hair dryers, so with this one, the Babyliss one, most other hair dryers, the air comes through this back section here and if you're like me, like often I'll be tipping my hair upside down, like my hair's flying everywhere and my hair always gets trapped in this little bit and oh my god it's horrible to take it out you end up like I literally having to rip your hair out um, so that's another nice thing so this section here it doesn't really serve any purpose it's just a design feature because the air actually gets sucked in through the bottom here 
So this is where it comes through. There's a motor in the body here, and then it comes out of the back. So yeah, that's kind of how it's different, and I find it's just very easy to manoeuvre, it's easy to use, um, and yeah, I just really like it. So let's get to the next styling stage. I'm going to put a little bit more oil in my hair. Um, my hair is a little bit dry at the minute, it's my ends. Really need chopping off, and I'm just gonna section it off and then go through with the brown brush. sleek and smooth and the ends just have a nice little flick to them. Um, what I'll also do is when I'm running the brush through my hair I'll use um, the hottest setting to do it or maybe like the medium setting and then just before I'm about to let it off the brush I'll push the cold blast button and just do like a cold blast of air just to kind of set the hair and set it around the brush um, and I find it just like sits a lot better when I do it like that. I tend to set my hair into three sections. Um, that's probably a little bit, bit too big. So kind of the bottom section and then the middle section and then this very top section here. look just styling in a center parting today um, I really like styling with a round brush I find that it gives it like a nice bit of volume got kind of a nice little flick to the ends a little bit of a wave to it um, but it's not kind of like too done up so you can just kind of wear it every day at the end I also just turned down the heat setting um, and then just did a blast of like cold hair on my cold hair cold air on my hair because <laughs> um, I find that just helps to like set the style and just kind of smooths everything down I really really like using the small nozzle when I'm using the round brush because I find with like other hair dryers I never end up using the nozzles because I always end up falling off um, and so because obviously like the end like the barrel bit is quite big like the air just goes everywhere and I get lots of flyaways whereas with using this one I hardly get any flyaways at all my baby hairs don't go crazy which is normally what happens um, so yeah I find that the finish using the Dyson is just much much smoother it's kind of like a cleaner finish um, there aren't as many flyaways and it's just nice and silky smooth so one of the, the, the key things with the Dyson is it has sort of intelligent technology in it so I think it has a chip somewhere around here and that basically measures the temperature of the air so if it's getting too hot it will basically just regulate the temperature it will cool it down just so that it doesn't burn your hair and frazzle your hair and burn your skin and your scalp which I think is really really important another great thing about it is that it comes with a two-year warranty which is brilliant um, I'm not entirely sure exactly what's covered um, but you get like a little kind of a little welcome pack with it and you register your hairdryer online um, and then you have a warranty with it which is brilliant. Other than that it comes with a really really long cord so I think this is about 2.7 meters um, which is pretty long for a hairdryer cord and that's really useful if your mirror is like halfway across the room to your um, plug sockets or we always find in hotel rooms the plug is never ever right next to the mirror and it's just so annoying so you always end up having to like stretch it halfway across the room. Um, so yeah that's another good feature. One thing that kind of annoys me about the plug is is well, I'm gonna have to unplug it. Okay, one thing that annoys me a little bit is this box. I don't know what this box does, and it just kind of gets in the way. Um, but I imagine it serves a purpose, and I imagine it's probably what makes it as powerful as it is. So I can't really complain. Um, but I find that the cord is like, oops, it's really sturdy and really stable, um, which I find with like other cheaper hair dryers, they're generally not. But I've lost a lot of hair dryers just because this cord here has like come out or it's come loose. Um, so that's another really good thing. And other than that, it's just very lightweight. I like the way that it feels on your wrist. So I find with hair dryers like these, um, they're generally quite heavy up here and light down here. So 
kind of naturally your wrist tips backwards because that's where the weight is. So I imagine if you're a hair dryer, uh, hairdresser, hair dryer, I imagine if you're a hairdresser, it can actually like start to hurt your wrist after a while if you're basically, you know, using the hair dryer all day and it's basically putting a lot of pressure on the back of your wrist. Whereas with the Dyson, it's very, very balanced, as you can see, it's basically like half the size. Um, the weight is very balanced, so this is basically completely central on the body um, and so your wrist isn't going either way, it's just kind of nice and central and you can just, you know, manoeuvre it and like, move it around as much as you need to and it doesn't really put any pressure on the wrist. So yeah, if you're going to be using your hair dryer a lot, then I think that is definitely a key selling point and something that like you can really benefit from. Um, I always get arm ache, especially if I've done arm day in the gym and then I um, blow dry my hair, I always get arm ache using like normal hair dryers because they're so heavy. Um, this one's really, really light, so yeah, don't get arm ache as much. Oh, it also comes with a little mat, it's like a non-slip mat, so if you've got like a, a wooden like chest that you put your hair dryer on, that just makes sure that it's not your hair dryer's not falling off, um, and then it's not going to damage whatever like you place it on. So I'll just quickly show you the box that it comes in. Um, so it's a pretty big box actually, but on the back you've got kind of an overview of all the different types of features and I could break down the technology and that kind of thing. Um, ooh, one thing I haven't mentioned actually is the motor. So the motor in the Supersonic is completely unique to Dyson. No other hair dryers have this type of technology. It's basically located in here. It's very small, but it's very, very powerful. It gives it that crazy level of airflow that you just don't get with other hair dryers. Um, and that is completely unique to Dyson. So that is kind of its key feature. As you can tell, I really just love it. Like I really do love this machine. And mainly just because it cuts down my drying time significantly. Whereas before with my other type of hair dryer, it would take me maybe like 40 minutes or so to dry my hair. With this, it takes me 20 minutes. So it's basically halved my hair drying time and I used to always hate it because I've got such long hair, it would just take so much time. Um, whereas with this, it's actually quite enjoyable. So yeah, I do really like it. Um, so hopefully you found this useful and it's given you a little bit more insight into the Supersonic if you've been thinking about buying one for yourself. To answer the question of whether I think it's worth the money, I do, I do think it's worth the money. But $500 is a lot to spend on a hairdryer. So it wouldn't be fair for me to say to you guys that you absolutely have to go and buy one because it's very, very expensive. But I think you do have to look at it as an investment. So this isn't something that you're gonna go back out and buy every single year. You're gonna buy it and it's gonna last you like four or five years. It comes with a two year warranty anyway, which is really good. Um, but Dyson is known for its quality products and it's known for products that are made to last. So this is gonna last you a good few years, I imagine. Um, whereas with hair dryers like this, like I've been known to go through one or two hair dryers like this a year, um, normally because like, they don't end up being as powerful as I want them to be or they break on me or if like the cord breaks and things like that. So when you kind of like add it up and you kind of weigh up like that, this doesn't seem like such an expensive product when you kind of look at it in terms of long term cost, but it is a big amount of money. So yeah, you just have to think of it as an investment and I think if you've got a lot of hair, if you really hate drying your hair because it takes so long, if you're a hairdresser, then I really think you can justify the cost. So yeah, I hope you found this video useful and it's given you a little bit more insight into the Supersonic. And if you have, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom if you want to see more videos from me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.